Hey, Stampers Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share some quick little gift tags. Christmas is rapidly approaching. Tomorrow is December 1st, so I wanted to get started on my gift tags, my gift boxes, my gift bags. So here is my first day in my holiday series for just very quick little gift tags. I've used two different stamp sets here. I'm using a Banner Christmas because I really like this line of stars. I could have chosen the um, chevron pattern also. And I'm also using the photopolymer. This is the Christmas Taggables photopolymer stamp set. I love this tag set, this stamp set, and you can see that I've used it quite a bit already and I intend to use it a lot more. So um, check that out. It's a photopolymer Christmas Taggables. So for these two cards, I used Crumb Cake, Garden Green, I used the Cherry Cobbler, Christmas or Season of Style, Washi Tape, Linen Thread on this one, and I used Old Olive Ribbon on this one, and I used some Early Espresso Candy Dots. So I'm going to do a similar technique on a piece of Very Vanilla. I'm just using scraps of paper that I have in my um, folders, in my scrap folders. This is cut three by six. It's scored at three inches. So I'm just starting with this one. I have a piece of real red. This is about three quarters and I'm going to end up cutting at three inches. But to start with, I just want to stamp my border. I've got my little um, border punch from A Banner Christmas. I'm going to use real red ink. So I'm just going to stamp this and get it as straight as possible. And this isn't very straight, but that's okay. I'll put some ribbon over it. Try to line it up. Usually I it'll line up better if I'm not working around a tripod. But I put some temporary adhesive on the back. Now I'm just going to cut this down to three inches. I'll cut it a little long because I can always trim it off. I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to use my um, the old olive and the crumb cake washi tape that came along with the Season of Style. Now I'm going to just add a little glue to the back of this. Put it on the front of my card here. just like that. That was real red ink on real red cardstock. Okay, so I'm trimming off the edges. And I just, I'm trying to make these quick, quick and cute. So I'm just going to take now the old olive washi tape. I love the washi tape. I feel like it's like the perfect addition to your Christmas tags because it's quick, it peels off if you don't get it exactly where you want it the first time, and it overlap them, and then I just tear the ends, I don't even bother with scissors. The point of washi tape is that it doesn't have to be perfect, so why make it more work than it is? Okay, so now I'm going to take, um, this says spreading a little holiday cheer, and I've been stamping this in early espresso. This is from the Photopolymer Christmas Taggables. I like this because I can see exactly where I'm stamping. I'm finding it easier to get my sentiments straight. Now I'm just going to add a little ribbon. And I would like to add, um, I think in this case, I've used linen thread. I've used the old olive on this one. I want to use this real red right here. And this time I think I'm going to put it right here where the seam is. We have white ribbon, early espresso ribbon, the old olive ribbon, like there are lots of, you know, pear pizzazz, wild wasabi, lots of options you could use here. I'm a fan of tone on tone, so I like to combine my, like, do a lot of tone on tone. I love how things match. The cardstock and the ribbon and the inks all match just like that. Now I also have candy dots that I can use and I'm going to add some candy dots to this. To add three little candy dots and you could put a piece of glue under that ribbon, a glue dot 
to hold it in place. You could do your red candy dots, you could do any color. And I try not to push them down too hard. I use my paper piercing tool to transfer them. And then I try not to press down until I feel like they're pretty reasonably straight because I can still move them around a little bit. And then when I get them where I want them, I just give them a little push. So that's a very quick and easy little tag. You can write inside. You have the whole inside to write your message. And you can make it out of different colors. Use your scraps of paper up. I'm using my little strips of, um, like this is garden green, this is real red. These are the little strips that I've been saving in a folder. These are little pieces that I've been saving in my folder. So I'm using up my scrap papers while I make my Christmas tags. So thank you very much for watching. Jo